28-year-old Adrian Maivet of the Buttercup area in Boral Boom is tonight in a stable condition at the KHMH following a shooting incident in the village. Maivet was socializing near the community center and as he approached near the entrance to the horse race track, he was shot three times by someone he knew who is also a resident of the village. He was on his bicycle riding home. It's obviously Brian Parson gone up and while he was riding, he said, come back to our zone. But like, I, like, I asked him, why are you stand up, making, why are you ride up into one, making shot you? He said, never expect it. He said, he didn't come to one, into one, like if he may run the motorbike into one. And as quick as the bike stopped, all he could have said, he heard a bow. And that was it. One shot he heard? He, he will, he gets shot one time, and then it dropped. And he said, they don't go four to five minutes or a little bit more. Then he jump up and run cross way, and then he fired the rest of the shot. So and two into bushes, so yes, and then two shot cut him in the back. The doctor told us this man was three shot, one in the abdomen and the other two was large in the back. So far, the doctor said inside was quite messed up a little. They patched it up to the best, but right now it's, it's one side and side. The problem is, they say it opened up to any infection right about now. So that's the only fear what they have right now. So they need monitor and make sure you know catch no infection. Promoter Alvin Flowers of Legend One had a back-to-school promotion event at the community center. He turned good Samaritan when on his way home from the event, detected a wounded Maivet and rushed him to the hospital in Belize City. We took the equipment back home. Upon arriving at a lane in front of the racetrack, I saw a person leaning over, like, you know, sitting on the ground. So I stopped to, you know, render assistance. So I... Upon that, I, I arrived at knowledge that you know, he's someone I knew, you know, I know. So right away, I took, pick him up, put him in the truck. We came behind here, put the equipment down, and immediately took him to the hospital. I noticed that he had a hole in his chest, so I know it was serious. So right away, I know that I got to drive fast and take him to the hospital, you know. It is rumored that the shooting was as a result of territorial rivalry in the village. He said that though he says he doesn't know, he's not known to have any beef, no beef no, between them. That young man, one day exchanging a word the other day, and it was not really he and the young man, it was another friend of the young man. Okay. Well, maybe retaliation though for that. Well, like I gotta tell you, I have no problem with this young man. Neither does my wit. The all other one, who, why? Well, it's our beef, the arrival, it happened yes. up there? Yes, but don't get the game wrong. We does not have the beef with him. It was his friends, oh. not him. We don't have a problem with him. What we're looking at is, is, a, is this incident on a whole and uh, looking at what may have caused it. That information is still what we're delving into. And it may as well as not be from the, as be, being from the outside or be something that is from within the village. Whether it is rivalry or not, I cannot readily say, but we will look into it. And if it is, we will work it out. According to Rural Executive Officer of the Police Department, Assistant Superintendent Christopher Noble, two persons are currently in custody. We do have very minimal information. We know that somebody is at the car, Yushna. Um, the hospital authorities there have been doing their best to deal with them. We have two persons in custody. We are continuing our investigation. And what we have so far is that we're following up on a shooting incident in Baraboo. Dwayne Moody for News 5.